think. When was he born? Jimi Hendrix, born November 27th, 1942, died September 18th, 1970, was born in Seattle, Washington. Early life. Uh Uh-huh. During his childhood, Jimmy would have a habit in school where he picked up a broom and acted like he was playing the guitar. After his teacher requested that Jimmy's father buy him a guitar, but his father refused. After Jimmy found a side job with the help of his father, he found a ukulele in the trash with only one string. He learned to play single notes by listening to Elvis, Elvis Presley's Hound Dog. By the age of 15, Jimmy bought his first guitar for $5. Jimmy practiced his guitar for hours at a time by watching other guitarists play and by listening to the blues. Military service. Before Jimmy was 19, he was arrested twice for riding in stolen cars. When he was given the choice to go to jail or join or to the army, he enlisted on May 31st, 1961. After completing eight weeks of basic military training, he joined the 101st Airborne Division stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. On June 29th, 1962, Jimmy was discharged from the army due to breaking his ankle on his 26th street jump. Professional career. In September of 1963, after Billy Cox was discharged from the Army, they moved to 20 miles across the state line to Clarksville, Tennessee, where they formed a band called the King Casuals. After playing in low-paying gigs at obscure places, the band eventually moved to Nashville Street, Jefferson Street, which is the city's heart of the black community and home to a thriving rhythm and blues music scene. First records. In March of 1964, Hendrix recorded the two-part single, Testify, with the Isley Brothers. Isley Brothers. It was released in June, but it sadly never charted. Career later. Jimmy would find success in the UK's in the UK and USA during the late sixties and the early seventies, when he released his only number one hit all along the watchtower. Death. On September eighteenth, Jimmy was pronounced dead at 12.45 p.m. Jimmy was found by asphyxia with after aspirating on his own vomit. Jimmy was known to be battling the effects of alcohol and drug abuse during his playing career. On October 1st, 1970, Jimmy was buried at Greenwood Memorial Park in Renton, Washington. He's the few people that joined the illustrious 27 Club. Recognition and Rewards Jimi Hendrix received many prestigious rock music awards. In 1967, he won Musician of the Year. In 1968, Rolling Stones declared him Performer of the Year. He also got the keys to Seattle in 1968. Disc and Music Echo newspaper honored him the world top musician of 1969 and in 1970. Guitar Player Magazine named him the Rock Guitarist of the Year. Rolling Stones ranked his three non posthumous studio albums Are You Experienced 1967, Axis Bold as Love 1967, and Electric Lamp. Ladyland, 1968, among the greatest 500 greatest albums of all time. They ranked Hendrix number one on their list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time, and number six on their list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. Documentaries. So these are like ones about um his like last 24 hours on 
this planet and the other is um the music video for um all along the witch's tower and then that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed the presentation all about michael jackson how do you continue okay there you go um michael jackson's awards Michael Jackson won 13 Grammy Awards, Grammy Legend Award, Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, six Brit Awards, and five Billboard Awards. Musicians that worked with him, Quincy Jones, Freddie Mercury, and Denise Williams. Oh, that saved the end. Um, this is Tracy Chapman, and uh, her road to success. Okay. Oh, I have to move the. Okay. Um, background. Tracy Tracy Chapman was born in the city of Cleveland, Ohio, on March thirtieth, in nineteen sixty five. Um, she be she began her career at WFSO radio station, which is a broadcast ministry based in Boston. Um, they put out a lot of uh, like gospel, gospel and spiritual music, um, which is where she started off. Um, this would be where she began performing and writing her own music and um, where she would finally break into the US and the UK charts after having a chance introduction with the manager of Electra Records. early career. Um, fast Car uh, was Chapman's most, <laughs> most popular self-titled song on, most popular song on her self-titled album, uh, which would be Um, furthering her career. As Chapman began to tour her first album, her first award-winning album, uh, she, she continued to write and record soon after releasing uh, Crossroads on October 3rd, 1989. This album being one that she herself co-produced alongside uh, David Kirschenbaum would go on to place in the top 200s in Billboard's top 200s that year. <laughs> Other releases, releases. In 1992, Chapman released Matters of the Heart, an album that would peak at 19, at 53 on Billboard's Top 200 chart, though it didn't receive as much traction as the first two albums. Despite some downfall, Chapman also released, released New Beginning in 1995. This album acted as the comeback for her career, allowing it to once again thrive. She sold nearly 5 million copies before the year's end, and singles such as Give Me One Reason and Smoke and Ashes um, became common across radio plays, playlists. Where is she now? Chapman is now working as an activist. She's performing, she's performed for several nonprofits, nonprofit organizations. She works to spread awareness and aid to, to younger generations through action and voice. Of these organizations, the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and Circle of Life were the most noted, though Circle of Life is no longer active. 